Hello everybody, Maddie here and I'm bringing you another drawing video today. Today we are drawing Victor from Yuri on Ice, my favorite character from my favorite anime. And oh my god, this drawing, don't even get me started on it. So I've been trying to draw Victor successfully ever since I started watching Yuri on Ice. I love that show so much, it makes me, every time I find a show that has LGBT representation, I'm like, Yes, thank you. It is so hard to find an anime that has LGBT representation that's actually healthy representation. You know what I mean? And this one actually does it, and it makes me so happy. And plus, I really like sports animes. So, this just, uh, it completes me. This show completes me. And my favorite character in it is Victor. So, I've been trying to successfully draw Victor for a while, and I know that, I knew that I always wanted to draw him, like, as a digital painting. I was like, one day, when I get good at digital painting, I'm gonna draw him, and he'll be as beautiful as he's meant to be. Unfortunately, that did not happen. <laughs> I've tried so many times, so many times, and have just trashed so many pictures of Victor. I'm gonna show some. I'll show one that's really awful here that I just stopped working on. So it's like, wow, this is terrible. That's as far as I got. Um. <laughs> And then I trashed it, and this is me trying again. I was like, I can do it. You can do it, Betty. I really liked how it turned out at first. And now the more I look at it, the more I hate it. Which I think happens a lot when you're an artist, you know? You finish something, you're like, wow, I worked really hard on that. And you know what? It doesn't look half bad. Then you stare at it more, and you're like, look at all these mistakes I made. Wow. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't really like it anymore, but I'm uploading this. I'm gonna get it out there. I welcome some critique and feedback if any of you guys are more familiar with digital painting than I am, which, to be honest, isn't that hard of a, isn't that hard to really become. <laughs> then please let me know everything I'm doing wrong. I'm I could point out stuff. His shoulder isn't quite in the right place. I did go and fix it a little bit, but I still don't think it looks quite right. The reference I found for lighting, the lighting pose, was very intense, but I didn't want it to be, the shadows to be that dark. Like, um, I don't know why, I just, I wanted there to be like stage lights on him. I was like, oh, well, you know, you would still have the shadow on the one side, but, you know, it wouldn't be as dark. So I, I don't know why I didn't go and find a new lighting reference. I just kept the one I had. I think it was because it was a really good, like, picture of the face and similar, not exactly the pose I chose here, but a similar pose, so that's why I kept it. But I should have picked a different lighting pose since I was trying to go for different kinds of lighting. So yes, I highly recommend to you guys if you're doing a traditional art or digital art, Find yourself a lighting reference. If you're doing some sort of painting thing and you need to, you want to have exact shading, like what it would be like in real life, even if it is stylized, you still need to know how it would look if it was realistic. Then I highly encourage you to look up pictures of like photography and find a person's face or like the outdoors if you're doing a landscape of the kind of lighting you want to use it as an example to go back and forth and be like, okay, the light is this intense. How does it hit this part of the face? Like, where does it angle? Where does it start to go darker? You know, that kind of thing. I highly recommend it. It really helps a lot. Even if you don't fully follow it, because you're dumb like me. <laughs> next time. Next time I'll follow it. So yes, this drawing was a long time coming. I... It took me so long to do. I spent so long on the skin. Most of this video is me painting the skin. I don't know why it's giving me such a hard time. When I do skin tones traditionally, I think they're fun. I'm just like, yeah, these skin tones are fun, you know? I kind of I kind of have a pattern with skin tones. I know which colors I have and which look best together for skin tones. And then digitally, there's so many options to choose from that I've just lost. I'm like, I have endless colors. What do I do? So I actually did use a palette. You probably saw it towards the beginning. Um, there was a palette that I used for skin tones. I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can find it. 
if you would like to use it, and that helped me a lot, because I didn't have to think about the colors as much. Coloring is my favorite thing, but I'm not the best at choosing which colors to use yet. I still have to get an eye for that. And it's hard, because I know, I know that skin, you should start with like a reddish, and then that should be like your base for it, you know? You should have skin tones that are more reddish because there's like blood under your skin, you know? So that's what I was trying, that's what I would always try to do, but then I would either go too red, or I wouldn't go red enough, and then the person would look really pale, or like look like a potato. <laughs> I'm gonna show a screenshot of a piece of art I did when I first ever tried a digital painting. The person's skin looks like potato skin. I'm not joking, look at it. Just I don't know where I'm putting it on the screen, but look at it. <laughs> it looks like a potato. Ah, it makes me so angry. So yes. The clothing could have turned out way better. I did I'm not very good at shading clothing or putting putting the folds of clothing. But I attempted and that's what counts, right? I feel like I say that every video. I'm always like, wow, look at this dirt job I did. I tried though. <laughs> and that's just kind of my method of art. There was a part in this, I usually don't like to have that many layers because it confuses me and I always end up drawing on the wrong layer and then I get really mad because you can't undo in Photoshop multiple times. I don't know if you can in other programs, but in Photoshop you can't undo things multiple times. It's really stupid. You can step backwards, but you have like a limited amount of times you can step backwards and if you're doing like a painting like this, stepping backwards might not even get you that far because it's like several strokes, you know? It's not just like one smooth, big, huge, fluid thing. So, when I draw on the wrong layer, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> and then, I really should get in the habit of saving more often so then I could just convert, go back to the last save I had. But, no, I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> I never do. I should. That chin, man. The shading on that chin killed me. And also the nose. The nose was a bit tough. And just this weird, all this weird parts of the neck. I don't know if people do neck studies for drawing, but I feel like I should because it always looks weird to me. And here I am fixing, like the shoulder should be higher, so I fix that. Still looks garbage, like garbage though. When I first finished this, I loved it so much. I was so happy about it. I was like, wow, look at this digital painting I did. It actually looks good. I'm so happy with it. And then the more I looked at it, the more I hated it. And now looking back at the footage of me drawing it, I'm getting so irritated. <laughs> I shouldn't have smoothed out textures. I used texture brusher, br textured brushes because I knew that's what it would take to get like a more painterly style, and then I smoothed them out so it doesn't look really painterly. It just it looks too smooth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. I'm actually recording this little video clip here for the second time because I realized that I did not make it long enough before because I had forgotten to insert another clip of drawing to it. I realized like partway through the recording, like, oh, there's a huge chunk of this drawing missing. Where is that clip? So I had to go search it. It was in a different spot than the other clips were, I don't know why. Probably just me not really thinking about it. I just clicked the wrong folder or something when I was saving it. Here I am going in on the hair. I don't think the hair turned out that bad. I feel like it could have turned out better. I think I've had better techniques for hair in the past, but I don't think this is the worst I've ever had. I'd like to figure out if there's a good, like what sh uh, brush in Photoshop works really well for hair, because I've used a few different ones now and I don't really have one I like yet. So I'm gonna keep trying unless, if any of you guys have any suggestions for brushes for hair in Photoshop, let me know. 
I'd love to take a look at them. I'm only gonna ever use free ones though because I'm dirt poor because I'm a college student. An art student at that, so it's even worse. Yep. <laughs> School starts up again soon. And if you thought my schedule was crazy before, well, wait for school to start, because I'm going to be in classes and working part-time, so recordings are going to kind of be everywhere. I said in the last video that I really wanted to get more of a start on YouTube and put more effort into my YouTube videos, and I really want to do that, but I work 40 hours a week. Last week, I worked over 40 hours, <laughs> you know, love the overtime, but when it comes to stuff that I love to do, I don't have time to do it, and that makes me really sad. You know what else is sad? My attempt at a background in this painting. I don't know. My next drawing isn't going to be painting, it's going to be... I'm going to actually attempt line art. Gasp. I'm really bad at line art usually. I don't know what it is, I just can't do it. I do it traditionally, I'm like, yeah, this is fine. I do it digitally, I'm like, how do you hold a tablet pen? Like, how do you do smooth lines? I just hit myself in the face. You all saw that. So yes. <laughs> I have ideas for skits that I want to do too. Those are going to be coming up soon. If I actually get off my butt and record them, I just feel like I never have time or energy to do it, which is sad because I have really funny ideas. Well, I think they're funny. I don't know if anyone else will think they're funny, but I think they're funny. So, I'm excited for when I get those started. And I might be moving soon, so lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. It's going to be really hectic, but I shall attempt to get YouTube videos out. I did, like, a inspired by raw straws and I did like a color dodge thing and then I went and I did like an overlay for the lighting and I feel like it turned out it would looked way better after I did the lighting because before the lighting it looked kind of just like meh but I feel like yeah it turned out better when I left the lighting because now it looks like more of a cohesive piece anyway we're nearing the end of the video so I'd like to thank you all so much for watching I hope you like this Victor piece more than I do. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye!